CBT lesson for Mike. This is Jan Hammer, The Talk. Um, what I remember about Jan Hammer was he did an uh, album with Eddie Van Halen. And I think, was it, yeah, Eddie Van Halen and I think Neil Sean. This is keyboard. It's got that muted bassy end sound to it. Um, obviously transcribed to guitar for you. Right up your alley, dude. I know the stuff you're into, so I can picture this coming across kind of classically for you. Um, kind of a hybrid picking concept for parts where you're going to use your pick and um, and occasionally some fingers. Um, standard tuning. Um, it would have been convenient to go to drop D tuning because there's a low D that's in there, but it's on a keyboard, so he's got he's able to cover more area than guitar. So um, it works really cool in standard. So let's um, let's jump right in show you what's up. Um, section one, it's three times. Um, this is up from the beginning up to 28 seconds in the song. Um, everything's notated. You'll see second and third time, use star two and start three. There's a substitution. Not really chord, but just some of the notes that's in it. But um, that's our first one. That's section one, so let's break it down. Uh, middle finger, two, D. Now you can change the fingering up. I, I put some thought into it, and the, for the most part, these are set up, I think, the most efficient way. But you're gonna end up going E, D, G, D. As far as picking, um, it's not super fast. You can down pick everything, but um, you're probably naturally gonna flow into what's gonna be comfortable for you. You know, if you do get lost, you would just go in the direction of the next string. So we're going E, D, G, D. You can go down, down, up, down. And then open high E. And then D, G, D. So. Then the next part, go third finger, 3B. And first finger, or middle finger, or first finger, it doesn't matter, um, 2D. And on this, take the pick, strike the low E, and your middle finger, pluck the B. And then go D, uh, D, G, D. All right. And then open B, and then 2 D, open G, 1 B. So. Actually, that 2 D is already down, so. Can leave this down through those then open a um, we need third finger 2d or 2g and middle finger 2d for this one go a g d a and that would be and then third finger 3e leave your middle finger where it's out on the 2d first finger 1b so a minor 7 with the g bass String numbers are six, four, three, two. I would go down, 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 up. That's just me. D slash F sharp. This one is. That's two E and two G. I use index and middle for that, and it's um, six, four, three, four. So we're coming off the subgroup, man. Even those two. And then the next note you'll hear on the keyboard from Jan Hammer is a low D. We have to catch the octave, but it ended up working out really cool. Um, five A string, pinky, four D third finger, two G first finger. So it's just a major triad, a one, three, five. And then open B. But leave the notes ringing like that. That's kind of the, if you want to keep the, the feel of it. So we're coming off, what was that, the A minor 7 slash G. If you're not landing the full chord like instantly, it's okay because we're playing as an arpeggio and picking these notes that if this index isn't on 2G on this last chord right from the get go, it's fine. You can drop it as you go. Stuff like that you want to remember. 
Okay, then um, you'll see in the tabs, it's um, three times of all that. The second time um, where you see the star, which is the, the first thing on the second line of tabs, um, that is changed to A, D, G, D. I didn't even know whether to do that, but I figured, you know, let's go ahead. There are some parts where you can just keep it the same way each time but you know you still can but I just gave you the actual note for note exact on these and then you'd finish it out the third time um, let me see we have star three second and third time you star two and star three so in other words third time you're going to an A minor but the rest of this is the same you know the then the third time you would go to an A minor and go A D G B right so um, that takes us up to section 2 which is 29 seconds to 37 seconds most of it kind of follows the same beat concept there are a few rests in here but uh, basically back to the beginning like you're starting it over but this changes a little we're gonna go 3b third finger 2d first finger and middle finger 3 on the low E it's a yeah there we go and you'll end up uh, picking the E plucking the B pick and middle finger and that'll be then D G D And then we have something change here too. Open B, um, 2D, open G, 2B. And you'll hear that. That change is pretty big. So we have. Um, sounds like a Dream Theater chord. Oops. And then open A, 2D, 2G, and you go A, D, G, D. And then put the third finger three on the low E. We're just adding a G bass. Uh, six, four, three, four. D slash F sharp. First finger two E, middle finger two G, third finger three B. On this one, go six, four, three, two. And there's our first rest. So. This part was pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna go open D, and then pinky five A, and then two D, hammer to four, and then pick the two. So it's it's kind of tricky, especially if you're gonna leave it down like that. Um, section three is 38 seconds to. Uh, what did I put there? 38 seconds to 47 seconds and it kind of transitions here um, first finger 2A it's just an E5 power chord so you're gonna go open E second fret A and put your middle finger on 2D we're gonna need it there in a second it'll sound like this let me play the section it rings for a while then you got so let's do that again And that's it for that section. So it's power chord, rest, 2D, and then 2A, you're already there, open D, and then middle finger 2D. Try to keep things ringing as a hold, as opposed to... And then right back to open E, and then 2A, open D, 2D. That finishes section 3. Um, from there, section one um, with the star three, no double star. <clears throat> Instead of the double star, you'll be doing the star four, which is uh, middle finger two E, open D, third finger two G, first finger one B. Really cool chord is this. 
So six, four, three, two on your strings. That's a substitution chord. So when you go up to section one and you come across the two stars, instead of those two stars, put the star four, which was this. And then you're gonna have section one two times. That's it for page one. Um, section four, a minute 16 to a minute 25. It's basically like the beginning again. You got. Then we have this. Which is, I think, the same as section two. Um, so nothing new yet. Uh, but we will shortly. Right here. Pinky five. A, no, 5E, open A and 2D. It's a tough stretch. Keep your thumb low back there. Open D in transition as we go into this D major chord. All right, so that's pinky 5A, third finger 4D, first finger 2G, there's our D major triad, middle finger 3B, and you're gonna go 5, 4, 3, 2. And then an open D. Just lift your third finger off. Keep everything else down. Okay. There is a rest there. And then we go open D, 5A, open D as a hold. So leave them down. Okay. Um, section 5 comes in a minute 26 to 209. This is a change in the song. And it's 3E, open D, 3G. you'd call this the bridge of the song but so we're doing E D G back to the E third fret that's the first part then over to the first fret E open D open G third fret G so that's like this open E third finger, 1B first finger, that's all you need to get started, go E, A, G, A, rest. B, A, open G, hammer on to two. And then we're into a F chord here, it's an F5 with the octave, one, three, 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 E, A, D, A. So. So the next one is open E, bar the third fret on the A and D string, and go E, A, D, hammer to the fifth fret, and then pick the third fret D. So from here, let's see. Open D. 5A, 3rd finger, but it's a little tricky. Bar the 3rd fret on the D string, all the way down to the high E, and go D, A, B, and then A, D, A. So it's, oops, again. And then 3E, 5A, 5D, and a bar to where you catch the 3 on the G string. That's a G minor. And then 1 E, open D, open G, 3 G, that's a repeat. Um, C major, 3 A, 2 D, open G, 1 B, rest, and then open G, 3 A, 2 G, so. And then F major again. This time it's uh, Yeah, it's just the 1, E, 3, A, 3, D, 3, A. And then E, D, open G. So make sure you're not barring. And then open D. One, 
one A, this is a B flat major. One A, three D, three B, three G, three B. So we have. Um, move over to page three, and we have. Um, yeah, that's right. Open A, two D, hammer to three, and then pick the two D. So then back to the G minor, three five five three, top four strings. One E, D G D, open. So it's. So this is a C, it's got an E bass though. Um, 3A and 1B, but pick strings 6, 5, 3, 2. Rest, and then B, A, G, hammer to, to an A, which is open G, hammering to the second fret, which is an A. So 1E, 3A, 3D, but this time. Uh, go middle finger on the 2G as if you were doing the full F major bar chord and you'll go E A D A D G and I go down down up oops down down up down down up or down down up down 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 and then this part go open E open G so I would use the pick on the E middle finger on the G string so. And then 2G. Then we have three, uh, third finger 5E, pinky 5A. This one's new. Uh, first finger 3D, but just bar that third fret. I think. Let's see. Yep. E, A, D, E, B. That's right, that's right. I was double checking something. Again. Then the G minor, 3553. Five, three. 1E, open D, 3G, open D. So we have. Open E, 3A at the same time. This is basically a C major chord though, so set all those fingers down. Hit those the E and A together, and then go G, D, B, A, G, D, G. So. And then um, back to the F major we were doing earlier. But this time, you're gonna do uh, the pick on the E, middle finger on the G, so we're plucking that. Actually, bar that as well. So, um, E G together, A D A E, and then the B string with an upstroke. Three D, open G, and then open A two D two G. Strum those. Okay. Then we got section one three times, section two one time, section five one time, and now we have section. Uh, Six and seven. We'll save that for part two. Wait a minute. Actually, I'll be able to get part of this in here. Section six is five A, four D, two G, and three B. It's a D major chord. Go A, D, B, G, B twice. And then end it with two G, five A, two D. You're going to want to bar those. It's a stretch too. So you got... Okay, and that's going to repeat. So you have. Wait. Okay, that's it for that. So section seven will be on part two.